Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do an apartment tour. It's been so long since I last showed you guys properly like around my little apartment. Um, me and Alex have been in this place for over three years now. It's about three years and a couple of months and we love it here. We're hoping we can stay longer. I know a lot of the decor and stuff can seem quite feminine but Alex is one of those guys that is pretty happy for me to like just sort of make it a nice space um, that I really enjoy it because if I'm happy he's happy. <laughs> today I'm actually um, performing at a concert later today so if you missed my concert vlog um, I'll have that linked below as well as my get ready with me of this makeup that I did. So if you are feeling nosy and curious and want to see around our apartment then just keep watching. So walking in this is the space so our apartment is a funny little shape it's kind of like a giant donut so when you walk in this is kind of like an entry hall sort of way and to the right here we have our bedroom so this is our little like sort of entry hallway we actually keep just a couple of chests of drawers here um, they just have like towels and some of our clothing in that in there because um, there's just not quite enough room in our bedroom for both of our clothes like in our wardrobe because this apartment's probably more designed for a a single person um, so with a couple we kind of have to improvise this is a look from the other side so we have this print I got this from Kmart years ago so it's not available anymore but it's like kind of a cute Parisian print on top of the chest of drawers I do keep like jewelry and stuff so here this little stand I believe I got from Kmart as well it's like just a little watch stand so we keep all our watches hanging on there that one's Alex and the rest of mine um, and then down here I wear my like most worn sort of daily jewelry um, oh, I've got to show you this this is so cute this is absolutely sweet I had a subscriber actually commission this and send it to me which is like I cried when I opened the package I was so so moved by the gesture it's a little sort of um, it's a little memorial bracelet for Heidi and I love it I've worn it so much already I forgot to put on the light that makes everything look a little bit nicer these little containers I got from Muji these hold my glasses so my reading glasses and then all my other sunglasses they're really handy you can store it flat or you could store it upright if you wanted as well so the containers can like sit either way so if you wanted to have them upright you could have the drawer that way and in the top here I just keep my perfume and Alex's perfume and also a hand cream and in here I've just kind of got like overflow jewelry so just kind of like extra jewelry it's a bit of a mess in there but I can usually find what I need we just have some cute little scores note paper and a pen um, and then just some decorative pieces this is like an old wine bottle but I thought it was so pretty so I keep it for decoration so then next to the chest of drawers we just have this little side table this used to live in our lounge and we just moved it here because there's no re no room in our lounge anymore it basically just has like a photo of our wedding a little succulent um some excessive cushions because I, I buy too many cushions um some extra books and in that candle box i keep my sewing gear and then underneath we just keep our sneakers because they're in like a really easy to get place so from the entry hall obviously as i said you can get into the bedroom through here this is to sort of alex's side which is always messy <laughs> um, but you can also come this way around to sort of my side so this is kind of the main entrance to the bedroom you could say um, so we have these giant floor lamps that we put on top of our um, bedside tables because there's very little light in here the only light source is above here there's like a long light and it's very very dim so we decided to get these tall floor lamps and put them on the bedside tables just to give us more light we also have two very small little bedside lights that are a lot more like ambient for nighttime and then on this side we just have um, our closet uh, there we keep some suitcases and some like Christmas decorations and stuff and then like our clothes are just hanging up in there and Alex's shoes also live under there and then this side of the cupboard is like my shoe and bag cupboard so I've just got all my sort of shoes and boots um, and then yeah my handbags all kind of hanging up on 3M hooks on the back of the door I also keep this little gold hook I've got a few of these popped around the house they're really handy so if I need my handbag to just be really easily accessible um, then I'll chuck it there these little hanging shelves above our bed I made those they're little picture ledges from Ikea and I just DIY'd them with some rope and 3M hooks and they just have lots of little like knickknacks on top so then if you face away from our bed you'll see that we have this big kind of dividing wall here and so these are where the sliding doors sit behind so we can actually shut our whole bedroom off if we want which is really handy if we have people come around I obviously have all my concert dresses hanging on the back I DIY'd a little dress hanger up there with just like a curtain rod from Ikea and some 3M hooks and that's just all my concert dresses hanging up um, our TV just sits in front 
Um, and then we also have one of these like Calax units from Ikea where we just store, like we've obviously got all our music and files there and some little grey felt boxes just to put, I've got scarves and things in there. So just easily accessible storage. Um, and then Alex's concert wear and suits and stuff live up on the wall there on those big 3M hooks. Because this place is really designed for one, we just have to be a bit creative with where we put um, our extra clothes and because we're musicians obviously we have a lot of formal wear so <laughs> I didn't want them getting squashed in the cupboard um, so I figured that this was a nice way to display them and also keep them um, in good condition. And this is my little bedside table set up so I have a journal, a pen and my Kindle um, that's my little side lamp, decorative flowers, my water bottle back there. This is one of those swell water bottles and it's so cool. I love the gold, but they're really great because they keep your water cold. So even if I fill it up before I go to bed in the morning, if I'm thirsty, like it's got cold water in it. So it's awesome. And I always keep next to my bed some hand cream and some lip balm. Of course, my By Terry Balm de Rose. I love this. Um, that sits next to my bed. I've had that for nearly a year and it's still not finished. Put it on every night. <laughs> And then these are just some little like scented um, sort of relaxing snuff box essentially. Something that you sniff to. It's got like aromatherapy in it. Good if I can't sleep or I'm anxious. So I obviously also have this long mirror from Ikea. This is not a very expensive mirror. Um, and the bedroom as you can see then leads into the bathroom. Um, and just before we go in I have this lovely little hanging plant. Another 3M hook. You're seeing a trend here. I got this really cool like hanging plant. This is actually a fake plant. And I got it from Richmond home. It's so cool. So as we come into the bathroom, this is what it looks like. It gets really trippy because I've got mirrors, doors there and on the back and on the back of here. So like the reflection bounces off and it kind of looks like an infinity bathroom. <laughs> Basically, we've got the toilet here. So I've got these little hanging shelves. Again, 3M hooks, but this time I sprayed them with gold spray paint. And these little hanging shelves I just picked up from Kmart. They were really cheap. They were like $4. I've just got my cleaning products on top. Um, a little glass box that has like sanitary items and our little poopery <laughs> sitting on top um, and then obviously our toilet and we've just got like scrubby brush and a bin they're really pretty ones though the shower is next to that and we have another one of those Kmart hanging planters in there with a little Ikea fake plant and this this is actually a music speaker in the shower it's really cool so you can connect your phone up with Bluetooth and it will play Spotify and music from your phone pretty cool so this is our this is our sink area so uh, we have a lot of storage in behind this mirror it's like a mirror cabinet on top of the sink we just have this cute little plant I got this from Kmart the trays from H&M this is uh, the hand soap from that Murchison Hume line that I get a lot of my sort of cleaning products and toiletries from. This little soap dish I actually keep my beauty blender cleanser in it. It looks really rank inside because it's like nearly all gone um, but I like I took it out of the container and put it in there and I think it just looks nice sitting on the bench and then obviously our toothbrush and toothpaste you can see here we've used another one of those little funky hooks I got this from a shop in on Coventry Street in South Melbourne I can't quite remember the name but it's on one of those cute uh, gift shops along there and this just holds our hand towel because we don't have a hand towel holder so I just hook it over the side of the sink and I love how the gold matches like it fits with the aesthetic <laughs> So then we're going inside the bathroom cabinet. So in here we've just got, you know, the usual suspects. These little plastic boxes are from Muji. So I bought a couple of those just to kind of um, be able to use the space a bit better. When I had all the products just lined up, sometimes it was hard to get to things and things would fall off. So I found putting them in boxes a lot easier. And I've used my label maker to make little labels for the boxes because I'm like that. <laughs> so this one obviously, hair tools. I have a hair dryer, a GHD, a curling wand and a new hair waver that I haven't even used yet. But that just holds all my hair tools. The good thing is that I'm not allowed any more hair tools than can fit in this box. So it keeps me restricted so I don't like hoard um, hair, hair tools. Off, as a YouTuber I sometimes get sent hair tools so it's nice just to have sort of one of everything. And then over here I have some hair products. So this just has like um, heat protectant spray, dry shampoo, sham um, hair spray, my hair brush clips, all that sort of thing. Um, over this side I just have some more brush cleaner and oil cleaner, just a few extra products I can't really fit. In here I have my brush bar. So this is like a drying rack for my brushes and my heat protect glove and just one of those like bum things. This is a weird little shelf. <laughs> um, we needed the extra space at the top so I did this little weird shelf. Um, just so I could have lots of space to fit tall bottles of hairspray and stuff. Um, on here, 
This is a container that's full of like face masks and extra moisturizers and things like that. So masks and body. Um, and here I have a little soap dish that I keep my drunk elephant um, Peaky Bar and Juju Bar. So they're my face cleansers. Then we have my favorite box of the cupboard, the skincare. So in here I have lots of drunk elephant products as my favorites. I also keep my deodorant in here. I've got a bioderma. I've got a I've got a body lotion as well that I'm using currently and this beauty of a find that I just got. Um, it's by Antipodes. It's their Immortal SPF 15 Face and Body Moisturizer. This fits with the Drunk Elephant guidelines of not containing any of the suspicious six. So it doesn't contain essential oils, it doesn't contain silicones, which are quite common ingredients in like moisturizers. And it's a physical sunscreen. So when I found this and I looked at the ingredients, I was so, so happy because we can't buy Drunk Elephant sunscreen in Australia. So this is the next best thing. It's a Kiwi brand. Yup. I'm loving it so far and I will keep you updated. Hopefully it doesn't like break me out over time or anything, but obviously you'll see an update on this very soon. Of course I'm getting distracted with beauty stuff in a home tour. <laughs> Down here we just have like a medical box. It's just got like, medicines and painkillers and things like that. Alex's tiny little box. <laughs> he doesn't need much. He he only has a few beauty products and deodorant and stuff. Um, obviously, oh, I should turn those off. My plugs for my straightener and stuff. And this cute little box. This is another one of those wee glass boxes. I got this from H&M and it's just got Q-tips in it. I thought that was very pretty. Just hanging up on the side here, we just have our bath mat. It's hanging up on another 3M hook um, that I spray painted gold. Uh, obviously our towels and I have a face halo hanging up there. It's what I've been using to get rid of my makeup. So this is kind of an overview of the bathroom from the other direction. And then when we leave the bathroom, you can see that we are now in a very familiar space for you guys, my lounge. But before we get there, this cupboard here, which you probably haven't seen inside before, is our laundry cupboard. <laughs> so, um, oh, I've got a very dirty face halo there, needs cleaning. Uh, we've just got our mop hanging up and very typical things you find in a laundry cupboard. This is a washer and dryer in one, which is awesome. If you're in a small apartment, I'd suggest something like this. We don't have much space to dry our clothes. We do have a drying rack, but it's a small one and it's only really for delicates. Instead of stacking a wash and dry on top of each other, if you get a combo unit, like that way we can fit this on top because we don't have much storage. Um, and then we've just got like wash bags, laundry detergent, things like that. So it's a really good utilization of space. Just could also keep our laundry basket here because it's quite pretty. It's a gold one from Kmart um, and we, you know, it saves us space in the cupboard too. So exiting the bathroom, you can see that we've looped into the lounge. So this is what this wall looks like over here. This side of the lounge has like a little bit of a gallery wall and half a couch. <laughs> This was actually a sectional, it had like a whole extra piece, but when we decided we wanted a bit more room in the lounge, we got rid of half the couch and just kept this part and it's great. Like, it's very cozy. Um, it's enough room for two people, but it's quite cozy. We also have this little like TV tray that's really useful. We pop it there when I'm not needing it, but I quite often use it to film. Um, like I can put makeup products and stuff on it. It sits in front of me when I film, when I'm filming in front of this guy. This set of drawers here I use as extra makeup storage. So this keeps like a lot of my extra foundations, um, new products down there. This is my empties drawer. <laughs> this is like full of skincare that I need to get to. Like it's just an, an overflow place. Um, my storage over here, as you can see, I don't have big, big storage for my makeup. Um, I do keep my collection relatively curated, um, but often I need just extra space just to store stuff. So I will be going through my makeup collection at some stage. If you're interested, maybe let me know below. Quick overview of where things are from. This unit was from Richmond Home. This pillow was like $8 from Kmart, such a steal. Um, this blanket was from H&M, like pretty cheap stuff. We don't spend a lot of money on home wares. This was $10 at Kmart. It's so pretty. Um, it's a nice thing to fill up the space with. This picture is from our photo shoot with Merchant, um, 1948, which is a shoe store in Australia and New Zealand. Um, and we were in the campaign. So this is us. This was about um, a year and a few months ago this got taken. It's very cute. It's very like old worldy looking. This is my beloved Heidi. So cute. This little knickknack. These are actually our boarding passes from when we moved to Australia. I just kept them and then one day I thought I should actually put them on display. So they're in a the little frame. And then up the top I just have a little gold frame from Ikea that I keep a picture of me and mum in. This is Alex's favourite thing. Um, his auntie gave him this because he said he needed a new horn, meaning he needed a new French horn for an instrument. Um, but she gave him a joke present and got him a bike horn. 
That's so cool. <laughs> so then from this wall we turn and we see this pretty familiar space. I quite often film in front of here. You can kind of start to understand how our apartment's laid out. Like there's the entryway and you actually walk through the kitchen into the living area. Back through there behind here is the bathroom and behind this whole sort of pod in the middle is our bedroom. So it is kind of like a pod essentially in the middle like a donut apartment I love it because I just feel like it's a really cool use of space um, but we just have this little Ikea fold up table which we often move into the center of the room and we'll fold out sides if we're having a dinner party we can easily host up to eight people which is pretty amazing we just bring in like the extra chairs off the balcony and use my makeup chair and we can make it work this clock I got from Kmart ages ago. This is a chalkboard from the Christchurch Cathedral. Christchurch is my hometown in New Zealand and during the earthquakes that devastated the region years ago, the Christchurch Cathedral fell down. Like this whole part here just was like and yeah, it's in ruins. So um, that was a lovely memento that I got as a wedding present actually. The chairs I got from Kmart and they are still there. These are quite new, these chairs. So if you're interested, Kmart has those. And then on top of here, I just have some faux flowers. I can't quite remember where these are from. I think they might've been from Kmart as well. And then look at these little salt and pepper shakers. Aren't they adorable? They're little ghosts that hug. I got those as a wedding gift as well. Um, oh, this is the box to that beautiful little um, bracelet that my subscriber gifted me as well as a card that another subscriber sent me. It's just so sweet. Um, you guys were so kind after Heidi died and I got so, oh, I just feel so touched. These are my awesome geeky Lord of the Rings coasters that I got at Hobbiton. But I think they're really pretty because they kind of match my decor since I love gold and I'm sort of rocking a bit of a burgundy, you know, pops of burgundy colour around the home at the moment. So they really fit in. Now you might notice there's a cupboard behind here. In there, I keep all my filming lights and like camera and stuff, like my big camera. Um, just everything that I would use maybe once a week when I do my proper setup film for filming. Um, this table's very lightweight so I can easily move it out of the way and just grab all my gear out that I need. So it doesn't bother me that it's blocking it because I really only get into that cupboard once a week and it takes literally two seconds to move a table. So it's a really nice way to sort of utilize that wall with something that's really easy to move in front of it. So then we scoot around this side and you can see that this again, I think I've taken sort of footage and pictures around from this side. So this is my desk area. I'm actually currently in the middle of editing a video. <laughs> I have this ladder that I got from Kmart. It's just got some little plants at the top, magazines um, and an extra throw rug. And then this desk is my favorite, one of my favorite furniture pieces from in our house. It's from Ikea and it's like a bureau desk so that little part there actually folds up if I had everything packed away. And I've just got some of those fake Ikea plants on the top as well just to bring a little pop of green in. We have some breakfast trays underneath that I use to kind of hide the cords at the back but they're also there just you know if we need breakfast trays in bed. This leather computer chair I got from Ikea, it's like a little egg chair um, and the cushion in it is from H&M Home. Uh, and it's really, really comfortable and I'm really pleased I got that. It's been a good investment in my well-being. And then in here I've just got some more like Muji storage um, and just another little picture of Heidi. And I installed these lights myself as well. Um, I have done a kind of desk tour, although some things have changed a bit. But I did that earlier in the year if you were interested. Then I have my beautiful giant selfie mirror from Ikea. This is one that a lot of people on YouTube have and on Instagram because it's nice and wide um, and it's got a beautiful frame to it as you can see like it's quite a pretty mirror. So this is where I'll take like outfit you know if I'm doing a vlog and I'm like this is what I'm wearing this is where I stand and it's also good for pictures like story Instagram stories. Next to that I have this little le sac en papier and this has lots of extra products that I'm going to be gifting away to like friends and family and um, donating um, just extra PR basically. It's a place that I can store it. Um, some things in there I still haven't gone through so it's pretty full. I need to actually go through and sort of decide what needs to go and what I can keep. A very sad looking plant. Poor guy needs a bit of water. This is our cute little outdoor area. I don't want to show you too much off this way just for privacy but outdoor area. Uh, we had those plants there used to be hanging on a hanging planter but unfortunately it fell down in a storm so we've just got them lined up like that but they look pretty cute and this little table and chairs is from Ikea. So then we come back to my makeup table which you guys see in a lot of my videos. Um, I think I'll do a bit more of a detailed look into this area if I do like her makeup 
collection video or something but basically the drawers are from Muji, the mirrors from Ikea, the chairs from Ikea, these cushions. I think these are from H&M Home. This dresser is the Ikea Malm. Lots of people on YouTube have it. And I do put it right in front of the window just so that I get a lot of natural light. Um, and we still have so much space in this lounge so it's not encroaching too much. <laughs> but that is an overview of our lounge space. And then from the lounge, we are nearly back at the start. You can see that's our front door. And we're in the kitchen. So this is our kitchen. And this is quite small because it's basically like a hallway kitchen. And here we have our fridge. Um, above there, we just have cupboards where we keep all our cups and things like that. Incoming mail, coffee machine, kettle. These are really cool. This is again like part of that um, Murchison whom I can't pronounce that, but the sort of collection of like cleaning products and dish soap and stuff. So we've got hand soap, dish soap and um, counter spray. I really like the aesthetic of that brand. It's all natural plant-based cleaners as well, which is quite cool. And here we have like our oils and red wine vinegar, kind of our things that we grab for a lot. So we've got extra virgin olive oil, cooking olive oil, um, salt, pepper, things like that. Utensils another faux ikea plant here we have our fruit basket which as you can see we're super healthy and have eaten it all haha <laughs> this is one of my favorite gifts alex has ever bought me he got me a butter container because i love butter when it's like not kept in the fridge because it's so soft and spreadable and i just love it and it's a really pretty butter container this is my favorite tea of all time i'm still trying not to use it very often because i love it it's, i can only buy it from a store in sydney and then we have our beloved Jamie Oliver cookbook and then just another cookbook that I keep some extra recipes handwritten in. And this cupboard is our pantry so that's just got food and stuff. And then look, we're back at the start. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit more in detail around our apartment. If there was anything that I didn't really say um, or something that I wasn't very clear on, then just put it in a comment below. I'd love to answer your questions. Something I will say as well is that we don't own this apartment, it's a rental, um, which is why we've had to use a lot of things like 3M hooks and stuff. So hopefully this video as well gives you a bit of inspiration if you are a renter on how to do up your place in a way that you can leave without damaging the walls and stuff, because that's our main concern is that we can't do any like permanent changes to the space. We have to be very crafty with like hanging shelves and stuff like that. So I hope that this has given you a little bit of like inspiration as well. So if you did enjoy this video then don't forget to give it a big like for me and until next time I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!